All right. I can see post up. I can see if already. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Whenever you're ready. The definition of stress, according to Google, is a state of mental or emotional strain or tension resulting from adverse or very demanding circumstances. Most people in America deal with extreme stress. The American Institute, Institute of Stress conducted a study that showed about 33% of people report feeling extreme stress, 77% of people experience stress that affects their physical health, 73% of people have stress that impacts their mental health. Stress affects the human body in different ways, and everyone has experienced stress at some point in their life. Stress can cause you to have emotional, physical, and mental symptoms. According to WebMD, some emotional symptoms caused by stress include becoming easily agitated, frustrated, moody, avoiding others, feeling overwhelmed, low self-esteem, loneliness, and depression. A lot of times people don't realize that these symptoms are caused by stress. If you have multiple, multiple of these varying symptoms, you may be dealing with underlying stress. Cleveland Clinic brings up some varying relaxation techniques to help with stress. These techniques include practicing mindfulness, distracting your mind and focusing on something else like reading a book, journaling and meditation. If none of these symptoms let up after trying these techniques, then you should see a medical professional for help. And then, according to Cleveland Clinic again, physical symptoms caused by stress include body aches, chest pain, headaches, dizziness, muscle, muscle tension, weak immune system, and digestive problems. If you have more than one of these symptoms, you may be dealing with stress. Some treatment methods for physical symptoms related to stress include exercising, sleep, eating nutrient-rich foods, avoiding substance use, and taking breaks from devices. If none of these symptoms lessen after using these techniques, then seeing a medical professional will be the next step to dealing with stress. And then the behavioral symptoms caused by stress include overeating or undereating, angry outbursts, drug or alcohol, misuse, social withdrawal, and procrastination. There are some management techniques used for dealing with the behavioral symptoms of stress, including listening to music, yoga, avoiding use of caffeine, and engaging in fun activities. If you use these techniques and they do not work, then again, see a medical professional. Overall, stress is very common for people of all ages. Knowing the symptoms of stress and how to relieve some of this stress can improve general well-being. Stress can affect your body in many different ways, and I just went over the behavioral, physical, and emotional symptoms. Stress is common in everyday life, and being able to detect your own stress levels and then counteract them with stress management techniques will help overall. I hope you now understand the symptoms of stress that can affect you and maybe use the techniques provided to lower your stress levels.